and welcome to the third quarter of Mathematics 8. For our first module, we're going to discuss the mathematical system and one of its components, the undefined terms. In this lesson, we're going to describe a mathematical system and illustrate the need for a schematic structure of a mathematical system in general, particularly the undefined terms of geometry. But before we jump on our lesson, let us have a short pretest. You may write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. You may also pause the video and play it once you're done answering. Now let us check your work. Let us see if you still remember your grade 7 geometry. For our next activity, on your screen right now, you are seeing selection of words. Which of the following can represent a point, a line, and a plane? You have 10 seconds to answer. Let us find out if your answers are correct. Were you able to classify them correctly? Great! In your grade 7 lesson, you were introduced to the world of geometry. Similar to other fields of mathematics, geometry also has a mathematical system that is made up of undefined terms, defined terms, axioms or postulate, and theorems. The undefined terms are terms that cannot be defined because they can only be described or illustrated, like point, line, and plane. These undefined terms are the building blocks of defined terms and postulate. Notice that from the given definition of complanar lines, the words plane and line were used. You can also see these undefined terms in line postulate. Axioms, also known as postulate in geometry, are statements accepted to be true without proof. An example of obviously true statement is the line postulate, that for every two points, there is exactly one line that contains both points. Another kind of statement in the mathematical system is the theorem. But unlike postulates, theorems must be proven first. To prove this statement, we must use known facts such as definitions, postulates, or other theorems. We're going to discuss more about definitions, postulates, and theorems in our upcoming videos. For now, let us focus first on the undefined terms. Some of the undefined terms in geometry are point, line, and plane. Let us start with point. It has no length or width, meaning it has no size. It indicates a position or location in space. It is represented by a dot and named using a capital letter. For instance, we can name this point as point M. The second undefined term is the line. It has infinite length but with no width nor thickness. It extends infinitely in two opposite directions, that is why it is being represented by a straight line with two arrowheads. We can name a line using two of its points with a line symbol on top of two letters. Example, we can name this one as line AB 
line AC, or line BC. We can also use a small letter or a number in naming a line, such as line N or line 3. There are two known subsets of a line. First, the ray. The ray is a part of a line that starts at a point and extends infinitely in a set direction. The rays on our line are ray CA, ray BA, ray BC, and ray AB. Another part of a line is a line segment. It is a part of a line that made up of two endpoints, such as segment AC, segment BC, and segment AB. The term undefined terms in geometry is the plane. It is a flat surface extending infinitely in all directions. Because of that, a plane has infinite length and infinite width, but it has no thickness. It is usually represented by a four-sided figure. To name a plane, we can use a capital letter written at the corner or using three non-collinear points in it. Example, we can name this plane as plane R or plane PST. Now that you are familiar with the point, line, and plane, let us try to answer the following exercises. Using figure A, name the given line in different ways. Correct. So this line can be named as AB, line AC, line AD, line BC, or line PD. How about figure B? Can you name the plane in different ways? Now for your next challenge, draw and label a figure for each given condition. Number 1. Draw point E that lies on line CD. Is your figure similar to this one? Then you're correct. But if you place point E between point C and D or before point C and D, that is also correct. You can write or place E anywhere on line CD. Next, Draw line T containing point A and B but does not contain point C. Correct. You have to remember that point C must not lie on line AB. For your last figure, draw plane D and plane E intersect in line L. I know it's a little bit tricky to draw but is your figure something like this one or similar perhaps? Great! To summarize, remember that mathematical system is consists of undefined terms, defined terms, actions or postulates, and theorems. Undefined terms are terms that cannot be defined because they can only be illustrated or described. And the three undefined terms in geometry are point, line, and plane. Defined terms are terms with a precise and concise definition, while actions or postulates are statements accepted to be true without proof. Lastly, theorems are statements that are proven to be true using known facts such as definitions, postulates, and it is derived using reasoning. For your journal writing, as a new normal learner, Draw or name models of point, line, and plane that can be related or essential in your learnings. Explain their importance. You may use a separate sheet of paper in writing your journal. To measure your learnings, answer the given posts. You may pause the video and play it once you're done answering.
Now let us check your work. Now for more exercises, you may answer the activities on your module. I know they are pretty easy and I hope you remembered what you have learned today.